All right, so now we're going to step it up a little bit in difficulty. So now we have an expression in the exponent. Now our game plan stays the same, though. So I'm going to go ahead and rewrite this with a little space over here. We're still going to take just a common log of both sides. And again, the purpose of this common log is just so that we have a logarithm in place to be able to use our properties of logarithms. So now in doing so, I can take the whole exponent, the whole 2x minus 6, and bring it down in front as a coefficient. Now we've dealt with problems similar to this before, but I want to go ahead and go through two different approaches that we could take to this problem that are both going to get us the same answer, but the answers might look a little bit different. Now one approach that we could take at this point is to divide both sides by that log 5. That would give us 2x minus 6 equals log 12 over log 5 at which point we could add the 6 to the other side. So we have 2x equals log 12 over log 5 plus 6. So we added the 6 to the other side. And now to divide by 2, what I would do if I were you is think about this as multiplying both sides by 1 half. It's a little bit easier to think about it this way when we're dealing with fractions and distribution and everything that has to happen on the right. So this would get us the x by itself. Now when I distribute the 1 half to the log fraction here, that's just going to put a 2 in the bottom. A half times 6 gets us 3. Now at this point, if I were you, I would have bought the $10 calculator <laughs> instead of our nice graphing calculator. And so let me show you how easy it is to put this into the nice, simple $10 scientific calculator. So in our nice, simple $10 calculator, we just hit the fraction button. After hitting the fraction button, we can type the log 12 on the top, arrow down to the bottom for 2 log 5. arrow out of the fraction for the plus 3. And so we can get a nice answer of our 3.7720. Now, if you don't have that calculator, let me talk about what you need to do. And this is really important because this is where I see a lot of errors happening at. And it's one of the big reasons I suggested that cheap calculator in the first place. So, if we do log 12, divide by, here's the important part. We need parentheses for our 2 log 5. Those parentheses say all of this is in the bottom together. Let me actually change this over to classic so that you can uh, see the whole thing at the same time together. So there's where all of my parentheses and everything need to be. So you can see all those parentheses to get that proper value of 3.7720. Now I talked about two approaches that we could take. So let me go ahead and rewrite this step over here just to point out another slightly different approach that will lead us to the exact same answer. We could have distributed the log 5 to get 2x log 5 minus 6 log 5. Some people like this better. I think it looks a little bit uglier, but you don't have to deal with the weird division thing of multiplying by 1 half that we did. Now to solve for x, remember that's our goal is to solve for x. We've got this value that I've just underlined that has no x's in it. So that's the first thing that we would add to the other side. That would get us log 12 plus 6 log 5. And then to get the x by itself, we divide by everything that isn't the x, which would be 2 log 5. And so this gets us an answer of log 12 plus 6 log 5 
all over 2 log 5. Now this answer actually is equivalent to the other answer that we had written over there. The big difference is we basically found a common denominator and made it a single fraction. And then we could put this in the calculator as well. We would need to make sure that we have parentheses around the entire top and around the entire bottom.